Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example. Today, in this video, I am going to show you another example. So, we will look at the example first. Example 9. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So, in this video, we will approach this example in a way that we will use set coils. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where we will select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. So the device I am using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus ASCII TMS2 GDB Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will be selecting it as TMS2 GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will click on a full screen mode here and zoom into it. So I will insert a normally open contact and a set coil and then a normal coil. Then I need to connect it like this. So if switch 1 is on then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be off. So we will keep motor 2 as set coil and motor 1 as normal coil. I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0 and symbol as switch 1. Yes, I will assign address to the sweat coil as Q 0 0.1 and symbol as motor 2. Yes, and then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0. .0 and symbol as motor 1. Yes. So, when switch 1 is on, motor 2 and motor 1 will be on. And when switch 1 is off, motor 2 will be still on as we have used a set coil here. So, when input is off, motor 2 will be still on, but motor 1 will be off. Then, if switch 2 is on, motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. So we will take motor 4 as set coil. Then I will insert a new rung here. <coughs> then I will insert a normally open contact and one set coil and another normal coil. Then I need to connect it by drawing a line like this. I will assign address to the contact as I 
0 0.1 I will also add symbol as switch 2 yes then I will assign address to the set coil as Q 0 0.3 and add symbol as motor 4 yes and then I will assign address to this coil as Q 0 0.2 I will or I will add symbol as motor 3 yes so here when switch 2 is on motor 4 and motor 3 will be on and then when we turn off switch 2 motor 4 will be still on as we have used a set coil here that is when input is off the output will be true and motor 3 will be off then we will exit full screen mode here and we will compile the program then we will launch simulator then we will start controller to do so click ok I will go to full screen mode here as you can see when I turn on switch 1 motor 1 and motor 2 will be on and then when I turn off switch 1 motor 2 still remains on as we have used a set coil here but as we have used a normal coil here motor 1 will be off when input is off and then when I turn on switch 2 motor 4 and motor 3 are on and then when I turn off switch 2 motor 4 and then and then when I turn off switch 2 motor 4 still remains on because we have used a set coil here and motor 3 will be off as we have used a normal coil here so when switch 1 is on motor 1 and motor 2 are on and then when switch 1 is off motor 1 is off motor 2 is on and then when I turn off switch 2 motor 3 and motor 4 will be on and then when I turn off switch 2 motor 3 will be off but motor 2 will be still on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.